SpaceX may be doing some testing down in the Starbase area later this week, according to some information I have today. Blue Origin announces good news for their company, yet continues to get hate from all possible angles imaginable. And SpaceX continues to build the massive company that is the number one commercial spaceflight company in the world. And more news as well. So if you want to everything, be sure to stick to the end, drop a like, and let's get into the video. The first story I have is the ESA, European Space Agency, announced shortly after NASA announced their Da Vinci Plus and Veritas projects that are going to Venus at the end of the decade, ESA is also launching their own project to go to Venus. Now, this project, known as the Envision, is going to be very similar to the Veritas, and it's going to be used to measure things such as the atmosphere, projects of the surface, and possibly underground using radio signals, and will hopefully attempt to map the internal structure of the planet as well as some of the surface. While these projects may not be as exciting as the Perseverance rover going to Mars, it's still the first needed step in a very long time since the 1990s when NASA last went anything to Venus. It is very important that something goes there and give us a better understanding of the planet to hopefully within another hopeful decade put something like the Perseverance on the planet. Blue Origin announces that there was a winner for the third seat aboard the new Shepard launch for a price tag of 28 million US dollars. And guys, let me do it on the comments if you think 28 million is a good price to sit next to Jeff Bezos for 11 minutes. Yeah, Jeff Bezos. Jeff Bezos for 11 minutes. But personally, I, you know, I just don't think it's something I could spend right now. But kudos to the person who is doing that. The reason they're getting hate for this is a lot of people are arguing that rich people like this should be instead taking that 28 million to fund projects to help humanity instead of putting rich people into space. Hey, good argument, but at the end of the day, it's their money, they're gonna do what they want with it. Now, the other thing Blue Origin is beginning hate about is regarding this whole possible $10 million bailout coming from the US Senate. Now, I read a great article coming from WKYC this was regarding how this actually isn't really a bailout for Blue Origin. See, the problem is that NASA had to award SpaceX a contract for the Artemis program. Now, while that necessarily isn't a problem in itself, the problem was that they wanted to award multiple companies a contract, but they did not have the budget to do so. People were arguing why a company ran by the richest guy in the world, Jeff Bezos, who made billions, tens of billions of dollars during this pandemic, why would he need a $10 million fund? Why could he not fund it himself? Well, ultimately, it just comes down to the fact that NASA needs to contract a company to do this project, Artemis Project. Blue Origin can't just step in and just start doing things. They, they, there needs to be contracts involved, the $10 billion. It's not necessarily to help specifically Blue Origin. It's to help NASA fund projects. It doesn't mean that Blue Origin would guaranteed get all that $10 billion. NASA just needs more money to fund bigger projects. So personally, I think it'll be a good thing if NASA does secure the $10 billion, whether or not it goes to Blue Origin, in my opinion, is irrelevant. It's just that they need this money to continue its space exploration, so I have something to talk about with you guys. Now let's talk about some fun stuff regarding SpaceX. SpaceX had a successful static fire of their Falcon 9, which will be launching this Thursday, June 17th, for the launch of the GPS-35 down in Florida. This is for US military purposes. The launch integration tower, the orbital launch site down in Starbase, continues to grow. This is the fourth segment attached to it. Credits to NASA Spaceflight for the videos and footage they have of this. Now this, at its current height, is only about halfway to what its final form will be. That's right, Freeze, I'm talking about you. The crane, nicknamed as Fragment Crane, has a lot of work to do if it's going to get to its final height. I'm really curious to see the way that they're going to have to manipulate this thing to get these final segments on top. You guys let me know down below if you have any insight on what you think they're going to do as well. But now let's talk about why I think we may see some testing coming from SpaceX this week. So the first is this photo here. This comes from Jack Byer. These are two Raptor engines being rolled out in the Starbase area. Nicknamed Velociraptor and Plaid Mode. These Raptor engines, now they could be going into the Super Heavy Booster, a part of that, right? It's gonna need a lot of engines, so two is not gonna complete that deal. That wouldn't be enough for testing. But if we look at closers in the area, we can see that this week there is non-flight testing activities planned for June 15th, 2021, until June 17th is when they have the closures. And these closures last from 12 p.m. to 8 p.m. So it is possible that we could see the SN16 roll to a launch pad, get those Raptor engines installed within it, and do static fires, cryos, things like that. 
If that does happen, that'll be the first testing in over a month of anything really exciting, in my opinion. It's still unknown officially what will happen to the SN16. You guys let me know if you think you know what will happen with the SN16. But it could very well be we see a static fire later this week with those Raptor engines being installed. That's all I have for you guys in this episode. If you enjoyed, be sure to subscribe, like, comment, and have a good one.